Perennial. So, do you think it's a bad joke? Yeah, yeah. It's like a great souvenir, though. Probably someone's come by and pitched it in, going, oh, they're going to think it's something really great. Looks impressive. <laughs> take the bottles off of them here at this back platform, but see the way the past platform's rising and falling, they could get in trouble trying to hand them up. So the safety divers are pulling the extra bottles off the divers out in the water, putting it on the Zodiac, so that uh, it'll be the easier entry for the divers when they come back into the boat. When they come up, they'll all come up pretty much at the same time, and they'll all give an okay signal and then they'll start, they'll stay in a group, the heel toss the line out, and they'll start working their way back here so we can recover them. He's gonna have a fun toss today because he's tossing that right into the wind. Right, okay. Come on, Dave, you're, you're being recorded, man. You better make this good. Right into the wind, too. Uh, Terrence, he can take it. How'd it go? Excellent. You obviously got the medallion. Yeah, we did. The artifact, huh? Indeed. We got it in treatment right now. I put it in with that zinc. Got the other bottle ready for uh, the next dredging session. Did it work okay then? Well, the dredging. We were able to dredge 
bench the whole time on my half a month. Oh, no kidding. Great. Great. So it's it pretty economical. Pretty good drop. Pretty good. But I never had to pick up the one of The bench got so bad while we were dredging, I just went and put all of his bottles on plus mine just so we wouldn't lose them. It's right here. So glad you could rejoin us. Me too. I'm going to want to have a swim back. Yeah. yeah, I know in shallow water when you try to run one off the scuba tank, you do all the calculations, but then it always tank lasts longer than the calculations say it yeah. will. Sounds like the same thing here. How about I turned it off and I thought it was done. Whoa. That's pretty amazing, yeah. Right there, huh? Yeah, right there with the miles. Remember, right right I dropped the chair. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I put it down right there so we know where it was. Cool. Uh, what's interesting is the, uh, I don't know if the current are doing it, but the sill tell the screwing up is coming from down there. And I'm going, where's this coming from? <laughs> Be with the current coming up over top of the wreck, it may be just sort of like the back window of the station wagon, you know, it may be causing the back end sucking it under. Dan, brother. Sweet drop. Sounds like a pretty good day. I think, go I think we're ready to roll. Everybody secure back here. You went into the National Archives, Smithsonian, and a lot of these other repositories that have collections of later class monitor plans. You could literally almost find every square foot of this vessel on paper. Uh, unfortunately, with the monitor, it's not quite the same. You study a lot of the original blueprints, but you'll see pencil drawings all across them. So we have as designed, and a lot of times we don't know how it was actually as built. really such an incredibly significant ship that we're going to a lot of effort now to try and see what we can do to save parts of it. Right now we're only looking at small artifacts because we don't have the capability for large lifts, but last year with the help of the U.S. Navy we were able to raise the propeller in a section of shaft and that was about a six ton lift. So the next phase we're hoping as early as next year to raise the monitor steam engine. And that will kind of clear the way to eventually go for the, the ultimate prize, I guess you could say, with the monitor is its gun turret. We'd like to think that within two to three years, we'd be able to recover the turret and get it back to the Mariner's Museum where it'll have to undergo a long preservation process. But we're hoping also that the museum will do the same thing with the turret that they did with the propeller, which is to make the, the preservation process, the conservation of the propeller, part of the exhibit as well. So right now you can go see the propeller even though it's not going to be exhibitable in a dry state for another couple of years. And we're hoping to do the same with the turret. <laughs>